As a major sponsor of the Girls on the Run program, we look forward to the 5K runs that culminate the program each year. After weeks of training, encouragement, education and bonding, the girls meet at the Essex Fairgrounds or Brattleboro Union High School for a celebration of better health. We like to be there too, to provide fresh Vermont spring water and to paint happy faces. Nothing makes us prouder than to look out over the sea of proud faces, a crowd that has grown exponentially in size over the seven years the program has been giving girls the opportunity to develop stronger bodies and healthier outlooks. Each year, our state's participation in National Walk at Lunch Day grows. We're extra proud of our fellow Vermonters. Since the last day in April likely brings frosty air and sometimes even snow here, rather than the warm burst of spring greeting walkers in other parts of the country. Still, in 2009, more than 12,000 employees, school children, and other Vermonters jump-started their spring fitness regimen by joining us in a rigorous walk at lunch on April 29th. The American Heart Association and the Vermont Health Education Initiatives PATH program offered support and enthusiasm. We kicked off the event with resolutions from both the Vermont House and Senate and proclamations from mayors in several cities. We look forward to continuing the tradition with the fourth annual Walk at Lunch Day on April 28, 2010. Walking is good for you! What can we say? We may be serious about our focus on health, but at Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Vermont, we like a party too. We couldn't pass up the opportunity to join in celebrating the 400th anniversary of the voyage of French explorer Samuel de Champlain, the first European to set foot in Vermont. Of course, we put a healthy spin on our contributions to the two-week-long event. We partnered with other Vermont organizations to host a History of Healthcare exhibit at Burlington's Metropolitan Gallery. Got folks walking at special edition harbor tours run by the creators of Queen City Ghost Walks. And gave patrons of our blue canoe and kayak races at North Beach the opportunity to experience the excitement that Champlain himself must have felt when he made his maiden voyage by canoe. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Vermont organizes community advisory boards in various regions of our state. The health-minded Vermonters who make up these boards engineer health improvement programs geared directly at the needs of their communities, and they have great ideas. The Northeast Kingdom Advisory Board took advantage of the beautiful Craftsbury Outdoor Center for a hike, bike, and paddle day in 2009. The successful event drew participation from all over the kingdom and from other parts of the state as well. We had so much fun, we have hike, bike, and paddle events already in the works for 2010, not just in the Northeast Kingdom, but in other areas of the state as well. We feel lucky that our exclusive focus is in creating great member experiences for Vermonters and working toward a healthier Vermont. Not only does it mean we get to work hard at serving our neighbors, it allows us to experience and enjoy Vermont's treasures and partner with some of the organizations that make Vermont the healthiest state in the nation as well as the most beautiful. This year, hundreds of our members got a chance to stroll the grounds of Shelber Museum and Hildeen Mansion. To be sure they got a little bit of a workout, we set up story walks and scavenger hunts that span the grounds. Of course, we fueled their fitness with people-powered smoothies made with a bike-powered blender we borrowed from our friends at City Market. For the second year in a row, our charitable arm, the Vermont Caring Foundation, has made the Vermont winter a little warmer for Vermont children. Research has shown that warm underclothing is high on the list of needs among low-income and homeless people living in cold climates. To address these needs on a local level, we partnered with Cabot Hosiery Mills and financed their production of 10,000 pairs of merino wool socks to distribute to Vermont's neediest children through the state's community action agencies and homeless shelters. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Vermont employees' commitment to the health of Vermonters doesn't end when they leave their desks at night. They take their positive, giving spirit to scores of charitable and community organizations throughout the state. While we do most of this work individually at our own neighborhood schools and food shelves and town halls, sometimes we get together and volunteer en masse. This year, several teams of Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Vermont employees raised over $5,000 for Alzheimer's research at Memory Walks in Montpelier and Burlington. 
Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Vermont team contributions, along with our corporate contribution, brought our donation total to over $10,000. Everyone from the CEO to the company mascot got into the act, showing that as coworkers, as individuals, and as the Vermonters we are, we'll stop at nothing to make sure our members and others in our state are healthy and happy. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Vermont, the signs of a healthier Vermont.